In the last class, we have seen how to find uh, pseudo inverse, right? Uh, right. Uh, how to find a right inverse, how to find a left inverse, and uh, how to find a, a pseudo inverse by uh, singular value decomposition and all that. Is. Now, let's see where it's applied. And uh, basically, a pseudo inverse is used to apply a system of linear equations. We are more interested in an over determined system, right? What do you mean by over determined system? Too many measurements are taken, and that leads to uh, number of rows uh, greater than number of columns, uh, to speak in a matrix language, whenever M is greater than N, M stands for number of rows, N stands for number of columns. Whenever M is greater than N, then such a system is said to be an over-determined system. Then how to solve an over-determined system using a pseudo inverse? Uh, especially we use more and rows of pseudo inverse, right? Here is an example, right? There are uh, there are three equations in two variables. So this is an over determined system. And we can clearly uh, see here, uh, it has no solution, right? Now we see how to use a pseudo inverse to solve uh, such uh, system of linear equations, over determined system uh, with a least square, in a least square error perspective, right? This is what graphically no solution, right? So we'll see the pseudo inverse there. Uh, write the uh, you know the system can be written in a matrix form as ax equal to b. Now we need to find uh, then the solution vector is given by x equal to a plus b, not a inverse b because we have pseudo inverse here a plus b. Now how to find the a plus? Now here a is this x is a column matrix of variables in one uh, x and y here rather b is a right side elements minus two minus eight at, uh, uh, and minus two. I'm sorry it should be it should be. 2, 8, minus 2. Here it is a, uh, here it is a, here it is a plus 2 and it, it's a 8. We'll correct it later, right? But anyhow, the right side elements are 2, 8, and a minus 2, right? So, we'll calculate A plus here. Uh, now, uh, does it have a full rank? No, let's see what is the, uh, what is the rank of A? Rank of A is uh, uh, 2, right? Uh, which is equal to number of columns here. So it's a left inverse. So you, A plus equal to uh, A transpose A whole inverse into A plus, right? So you get that A plus. We have seen last class how to get that pseudo inverse. Now, get that A plus, plug into the solution. So A plus B, X equal to A plus B, X cap I'll call it. They equal to this into this, 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 this. So, uh, this is the solution. Let's see the coordinates here. This is the best possible solution to this system of linear equations in a least square sense. Okay, here it is. When m is greater than n, more equations than unknowns. That's what I told you. Uh, too many measurements are taken. Then we'll find the uh, solution in a least square sense. And uh, here is our uh, left inverse, A transpose A, whole inverse into A transpose B. This is the inverse we are going to use in our, this thing. So, as we have discussed earlier, what is the, uh, uh, what is the application? Given uh, a system of linear equations, AX equal to B, then a B or Y or whatever, then X is given by A, A plus into Y. And we know for a square matrix, A plus equal to A inverse. So for any generic matrix, uh, we get A plus equal to by, in, in general, we use I squared. We have seen that in our last classes, right? This A plus, we call it a pseudo inverse, right? Right, let's take a problem. 2x plus y equal to minus one, minus 3x plus y equal to minus two, minus two, or minus x plus y equal to one. This is an over determined system, rank equal to two, and equal to number of columns, so it's a left inverse, and the left inverse is given by A plus equal to A transpose the whole inverse into A transpose. And you find that A plus, this is how you find it, get a, A is there, get A transpose A, get whole inverse, add into A transpose. This is my pseudo inverse, and this is my solution. This is the solution in a least square perspective. Take another problem. 
the number of rows, this equal to is greater than number of columns. This is an over determined system. The right side elements of B equal to six and uh, uh, four. Rank of A equal to two, and the right inverse, right? And this is how we get the inverse, and this is the solution. Next, uh, for a huge matrices, we don't compute the inverse by a and we use a software's MATLAB. In a MATLAB, there is a command P inverse of A, you know, P I L V of A means pseudo inverse of A. It will give you on fly. We make use of that, right? Here is a system x1 minus x2 equal to 2, and so on. This is how we write uh, this is the code, and this is how we represent a matrix. In MATLAB, this is my B, and x, my solution vector, is a, uh, the solution is stored here. So P inverse of A into B, and this is my solution vector. That gives me the solution in this perspective, right? So I'll stop here.